Hey guys, Yu Sheng here. Welcome back to the speedrun. I don't know if we can call it a speedrun anymore. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be getting this series back underway because I want to get GM with the Zerg 2 base roach build. Or at least, I shouldn't say 2 base roach, 2 base roach or muta. Because sometimes we're going to have to go into uh, muta like we've done. In, uh, in the earlier parts of the series. We'll see how this game goes, because uh, I haven't played this build in uh, months. <laughs> so he might be a bit rusty on the strat. But um, yeah, we'll see. This guy is um, Master 3, I believe. So, not too shabby, honestly. Okay, let's grab our third. Or natural, rather. And yeah, I have got this strategy already to GM. So we should be able to win these matches, but the strategy is kind of weak ist against Terran players. Okay, let's make sure we check for some proxies. Let's grab our gas. Let's get our pool. Everything is looking pretty clean. Um, around this MMR, I'm going to start making sure you know, you really got to make sure your guys are uh, saturated properly. The small stuff kind of becomes a bigger deal because, um, you know, maybe it doesn't contribute to the overall game. But let's say it delays like your first pair of links. That's going to maybe cause some annoyances. And then, you know, that snowballs and you miss your injects. And so that's kind of how it adds up. Okay, that's all the drones we're going to make. We're going to grab our lings next. And let's just make sure that this guy has his expansion. A lot of scumbags on the ladder. You got to be careful. <laughs> okay, 27 overlord. And what do we have here? Okay, so he's got his expansion. So we're not super worried about anything... Uh, super aggressive, just this Reaper. Gonna be, uh, you know, as annoying as he can be. Honestly, that was... That was the lightest Reaper harass of, uh... My gaming career. <laughs> Shot my link twice and left. Just what we like to see. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's get a little Overlord Scout going. And we need our lair, we need our roach warren. He's going to see this, obviously, but that's okay. Okay, so third command center. So definitely in this position, we can just go for the um, the speed roach timing attack, and that's going to be really good. There's no reason to, uh, to skip that, because this is the situation where it's the strongest. Now, he does know we're going for this, so he's likely to, you know, get a bunker or um, tech into Banshee or something like that, but it's still not too easy to hold, so, you know, it's obviously a risk on our end, but at the same time, it's really likely to pay off since we're not facing uh, GMs. Okay, Rook Speed's on the way. Third's going to be down. And we're ready to pump out the roaches. I did make the world's tiniest mistake here. I made one extra drone, but uh, hopefully you guys won't crucify me for that. I guess we could get a spore with the money, but um, he's playing 3cc, so it's not super worrying. <clears throat> Actually, this might be more annoying. I did kind of figure we could uh, skip these, but maybe not. We could have uh, made this a lot easier by making a little wall like we have before. But, okay. 
okay no no massive massive deal there we should still be okay not ideal for sure but we should be fine let's definitely get some spores now obviously we can't skip those forever and yeah I kind of expect this attack to go pretty well because of um okay he's got double bunker Gonna try and trap me. It's a pretty good idea, I think. We don't really want the roaches hitting the bunker here, I think. So well played by him. And here we can go maybe uh, Evos. <clears throat> yeah, this guy's defending very well. Let's try and kill these um, SUVs. That's like the main thing we want here. back yeah what I'll say now is this is gonna be a really hard game <laughs> if we're gonna win this I think that was acceptable damage if we didn't take you know damage of our own but since we took the early damage and we didn't get a lot there it's uh it's not looking good a little bit sloppy from me for sure Okay, these are saturated. This is saturated for here. And we're on 66, which is kind of what we're aiming for now. So the plan here is to go for roaches and then we'll go into Muta after that. Just get some more vision. And likely he's going to go for a, a push fairly soon. But hopefully we don't die to that. Also, let's add maybe one queen for uh, for a little bit of creep. You kind of don't want to go crazy on creep with the style because you're cutting so many corners. To get these attacks going. <clears throat> so it's not as clear as, you know, getting three more queens here. It's kind of expensive at this MMR. I think we can sneak one of those tumors there though. It's got a banshee. Should actually have a spore here as well. For sure. Maybe that'll be annoying. And now I'm going to make a bunch of Muta. <clears throat> okay, so we're going for this attack. So I'm going to um, transition to the Muta. And then we're going to make another transition to something else. He's actually very low on workers here, surprisingly. So I'm not really feeling like we have to go here anymore. This kind of feels like he um, made some big blunders, just basic macro. So let's go into the Hydra next. Let's do some Muta Harass and then um, I actually kind of just feel like we already won the game, even though I said we were losing this whole time. Our opponent just made some some economy blunders that I didn't expect him to make this MMR, and yeah, we're winning. <clears throat> so I'm kind of microing those, but not to the extent that I think people think, you know? Like, whenever I micro them, it's because I have free time. And if I don't have free time, even at this MMR, let's actually not get that. What I'll do is just not micro them. And so as a beginner, what you should be trying to do is, um, you know, most of the time not micro them. So you can see here, like, I'm not floating money when I do that. And we get back in time for the injects. And so, like, nothing negative happened to my economy during that period. 
but if it does then you're you're really making some some big blunders like you you never want that to happen it's by far the priority okay let's go for this let's get the hive let's get um these gases because I want to make a lot of lurker what's going on here huh <laughs> wait what okay this like screams hidden base to me we'll go look for that just in case but I mean him turtled up on the three base here is um, is really not good for him I guess he must think that we're way more all in than I am but um that is not the case. <clears throat> now I do kind of want to like start trading. I don't want to let him max either. So I'm okay kind of giving these up in this situation, I think. Now that he's taken the third, it's a lot easier for us to get a nice engage too. So that's why I'm moving out again. Let's try to get like half and half. Also, we've used these mutas to kind of pull them out of position slightly, so that's also good for us. And then behind this, I'm going to remax on the roach. Let's try to move in here. Get these lurker upgrades going. And we can pull back any time here where it starts to not go well because we have our transition and we've succeeded in kind of trading out our supply. So why don't we go into like you know 16 lurkers we could also maybe go for some viper is pretty good here obviously because he has a ton of tanks so let's do that three three upgrades you can see we're really sticking to the Roach Hydra because we've kind of committed to that already. So there's no reason to um, transition to like Ling Bane because then we remove all the upgrades we've been building up this whole game. So it doesn't quite make sense to do that. We don't actually need to do these injects anymore. We kind of got a lot of larva already, but yeah, might as well. And I really want to get rid of these um, mutas at this point. So I'm going to leave them in my main army, I think. <clears throat> and as soon as these vipers get here, we're going. We're just going to blinding cloud and then A move. So we're probably going to win this fight. But we do kind of want to have the... Um, the Viper, of course. Let's go Hydra. And GG. I was kind of worried at the beginning of this game. Like, uh, I haven't played in a while. This might be uh, a trash YouTube video. But <laughs> actually, this, this turned out to be a, a really nice game. Because we sustained so much damage early. And I thought it was actually just lost because this guy's in Master League, but honestly, he made some really big blunders, and uh, hopefully it was nice for you guys to see how we can come back from like a pretty, pretty bad position, if I'm being honest. So let's let's do a little post-game analysis. I know when I watch uh, some chess, chess uh, speed runs, I'll just not watch the post-game analysis, so uh, feel free to leave, but <laughs> probably the... Uh, the most important info you're going to get after the game when I can show you what really went uh, wrong for our opponent and, for, and well for us. Okay, so let's time Z at the beginning. You guys know the build already. And you can see our opponent went for um, a pretty standard setup here. He's going for a Hellion into Banshee. And then he's transitioning to his like double racks. Um, but if I look at this guy's like current setup, I'm seeing like his mechanics are not really um, where it needs to be if he wants to get to like GM. Like there's lots of SCVs being missed here. You know, maybe because he's uh, feeling anxious. We only have two bases. He's not sure what's going on. But um, yeah, his like eco setup here is, is really uh, subpar. And he also kind of missed his like double eBay. So there's a lot of things that went wrong just in his macro setup. 
But I will say, like, his SCV block here was really top tier. That's, like, a lot of even masters, like, high masters will miss that type of stuff. So, uh, well done by our opponent there. Wherever you are, Tucker. <laughs> and let's see where we ended up here. So, you can see, actually, we did, we definitely did some eco damage here, which is magnified by him missing the workers. And uh, it's currently 60 drone to 39 SCV. So I, I would say, like, we, we made some plays here. It, it worked out decently overall. Um, but if I think if I was playing Terran, I would have a little more, um, a little more, like, counter pressure, I guess we can say. Because the way he, the way he, he set up his um, economy here, or not his, not his economy, his production, is, like, he kind of threw it all down at once, right? And there's, there's no nice layers, right? And what you'll find is, like, really strong players, regardless of what race they're playing, they have nice layers to their build. And this guy had, like, the Hellion layer, but he didn't have this nice Banshee layer. Like, he's only got one Banshee, right? And if he had a really nice build here, he would have had, like, eight Hellion and two Banshee. And he could do some stuff with that. And then behind this, you had to have, like, a nice double eBay transition, you know, maybe maybe these racks are a little bit slower so he can smooth it out and get more workers and stuff. And uh, so I think that's partially where he fall, fell behind here. So now, I mean, looking at the game in this current state, objectively, just from, you know, where I can see everything, it's very clear. Even now, we're actually winning. Like, we're plus 22 workers or something. Plus, we got the upgrade lead. Plus, we even got the spire on the way. So, I mean, like... Basically, in every single metric, this game looks good to me. And, um, yeah, we're not even losing like I thought. Okay. Right here, this Terran player needs to know to go home. This is a position where, like, you don't want to be attacking anymore because the Zerg has no workers here. And so, if you're a Terran player, um, what you should do in this position is, like, just hunker down. So... As a Zerg, you should kind of expect your opponent to do that. And if they're kind of being really aggressive when you're on this, like, low eco 67 worker setup, you can be quite happy with this. So, yeah, when I see him kind of pushing us aggressively here, I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah, he, I'm actually, like, he, he didn't even saturate his base here. So he, had, he really had the wrong objectives in this period of the game. What he should have been doing is kind of getting double factory tank getting a lot of tank here, getting his workers up pretty high to like 60, and then just holding this next roach attack. And if he holds his roach attack, then he's in a good position. But instead, he kind of abandoned his third. And you can see my reaction like live. Like when he did this, I, I basically knew the game was over. Like that, that's basically surrendering <laughs> from my point of view. Like that was a surrender move. And now the game is just super over unless we make a gigantic blunder. So... The rest of the game is kind of, uh, you know, we just need to make the right plays, not get too aggressive when we shouldn't. Like, we don't want to push into his natural here. That could be a really easy way to throw the game. And we also don't want to keep our tech too static. Like, we want to keep progressing because if you stay on the roaches forever, then some bad things can happen because he's getting, you know, more tanks and stuff like that. So you got to progress your tech and you got to make sure you don't fight in the worst possible positions. But if you take like a decent fight in a good open spot and you keep progressing your tech to the right things, then you should be able to close the game uh, fairly easily. And I think that was pretty much it, right? So we saw tanks, so we went for um, vipers. And naturally you want to get lurkers just because you're, you're mining more money and you're max. So you want to be improving the quality. But really, the counter unit was the um, the Viper. And like I said before, this was a really important trade because you don't want to get stuck on the Roaches. If you're maxed and then the Terran also maxes, then you're going to be in some trouble on just pure Roach because Roaches are not as good as, like, mass tank and uh, Marine with good upgrades. Like, your army is just inferior, so... You gotta kind of trade that out at the right moment, get into something that's a bit stronger, um, and then you can compete with our army. So here we can easily compete because we have some lurker, although not very many to be fair, and we have the viper, 
and we got the Hydra. So, to be honest, these Viper are a little bit far. It might have been better to not take this fight. However, I was feeling pretty confident, and I thought they were a little bit closer. And he was unseaged, so there was a bunch of factors that made me feel like we could take this. But it was a little closer than it needed to be, I think. Either way, though, pretty good game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the return of this series. If you did, make sure to like the video. And as always, if you want some coaching with me one-on-one, -on -one, check out my website, hushangcoaching.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.